Daisy! Come on, girl! Where you at? Come on, Daisy! Got all the goats. I don't know where Daisy is. Get over here. What are you doing, napping? Huh? Come on, we gotta do your little update. Everybody's wondering how you're doing, girl. Come on. Time to take your medicine. Alright guys, so uh, today we're going to do a little update on Miss Daisy. And we're going to see how she's doing. She's fixing to take her medicine. What are you doing, girl? Hmm? Come on, let's go over here and sit down. Let's go over here and sit down. What do you think? So it's time to take... It's time for Daisy to take her medicine. And the best way for her to take it is with these hot dogs like I showed you guys in the last video. Um, she's a really good dog and... Uh, she she will take pretty much any kind of food but she has no bleeding this is day two days after she made the uh trip to the vet so today's wednesday we took her on monday set this camera up here girl come here come on She usually, uh, well, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Why'd you spit that out? Uh, why'd you spit that out? You better eat your hot dog. Here, eat that. So guys, I showed you guys the other day, these pills are pretty large, pretty large pills. And uh, it's very important for her to get them. So we're gonna get them real quick. And then we'll talk a little bit about how she's doing and what we've been doing here. Good stuff. Okay. One more. All right, she uh, ate the pill. That's one good thing about her is when she usually takes a bite of hot dog or something, she chews it one time and it is down. So uh, you don't have to worry about her spitting the uh, pill back out. All right, you ready to do your interview, girl? Come here. All right, guys, so uh, like I said, this is Wednesday we took her to the vet, um, Monday evening, it was after 5 o'clock, and she had a lot of blood coming out of her right nostril right here, and it was pretty alarming. Uh, the more I inspected her, I was like, this ain't right, so I called the vet, took her. I'm not going to get into the story because I pretty much covered that in the last video, but for those of you that didn't see that last video, go check it out. Uh, she was uh, sneezing and had a lot of blood discharge from her right nostril and these goats are gonna knock my camera down come here nosy goats so the vitamin k did its job i came back out that evening and the blood had already clotted or looked like it had already clotted because it wasn't running out of her nose anymore so she's been taking the meds she gets one peel tablet every morning and one at night time or evening time like right now and uh She's not wheezing or sneezing or coughing anymore, but she does have a little bit of looks like snot coming out of her nose. So we're gonna continue to monitor, monitor that. Um, I, I think that's a good thing. At least there's no blood. So that means hopefully the infection is uh, going bye-bye due to the antibiotics she's taken. But other than that, she's been herself. Um, the, last, the last night I did not lock her up in the barn. She was free to come and go. And uh, she didn't run around too much last night. I think she got a lot of rest and uh, that is key to uh, getting these dogs to feeling better and you don't feel warm or anything. I haven't been taking her temperature. She never did have a temperature. The day I took her to the vet, he checked her temperature and uh, she didn't have one. So we're not going to worry about that just yet. She seems like she's doing fine. She's eating fine. She's drinking water fine and uh, she's been playing around with the babies and everything like normal. So. Uh, one suck. Hit. So we're not going to uh, do anything out of the ordinary and, unless she does start acting like something is bothering her. And right now she does still have the uh, nasal discharge, but that this goat just keeps walking back and forth underneath the tripod. Daisy, these goats don't know how hard it is to film out here in the wind and everything and then they come over here start chewing on the camera walking under it <sighs> but anyways guys we want to thank you guys uh 
pretty much just making this little video today to give you guys an update because I know so many of you guys uh, pray for us give us your well wishes and your thoughts and uh, we got a lot of emails and messages and comments saying hope Daisy's okay I did originally share the picture on uh, our members only page right when it happened I had her in the truck and I think I snapped a selfie of me and her on our way down to the uh, vet office and you can see the bloody nose so for those of you that are the uh, on our members only page you guys seen it first and uh, thank you guys as well man so funny story is these little tripods hold on okay. so a funny story these little tripods that we use for our cameras are aluminum they're supposed to be lightweight well when a goat decides to start rubbing its head on there and gets its horns caught gets the tripod caught in between its horns and decides to freak out and start running it usually just breaks the legs off these tripods i'm on like my, my third tripod in just a matter of months and i got a brand new one i actually spent a little more money and uh thought i was getting a better one but this one's actually smaller as far as the framework goes than the others so i think they're going to break this one even easier so it's hard to film out here with these goats unless you got a good cameraman holding your camera so bear with me and then you got the wind today is going crazy um daisy's been out here napping all the time out here in the grass just laying around with the baby goats but anyways i think daisy uh if she could talk she would tell you guys thank you so much for all the thoughts and prayers and everything she is a very very important dog to us she's a working dog like many of you know and if we did not have her it would be we'd have a lot of problems let's just say that uh, we got stray dogs that come around you got your bobcats but here recently the coyotes have been going crazy around here and uh, i'm gonna try to make another video about that because there's something you guys need to know and i might actually put it out before you guys see this one so if you do don't pay no attention to that but uh, you can tell she's not a hundred percent of course guys she's got the discharge out of her nose but I think we're on our way up if she still has it by next week or maybe this weekend I might take her back to the vet just to be seen but I think they've done all they can do for now um, I don't think she has anything lodged like a foreign object up in her nose or anything because she hasn't been sneezing or wheezy or anything like that anymore I think that blood was causing her to kind of sneeze a little bit it's kind of like if you guys know what it's like if you're swimming or something and a wave come up and hits you in the nose and sometimes that water unexpectedly goes up in your nasal passage it kind of feels like there's something in there and the whole time she had that blood running out of her nose that's what i can that's kind of how i uh, pictured it feeling is that blood making it feel like there's something up in there so she's always trying to blow it out and when she goes in the truck i mean i, I had to spend about an hour cleaning my truck out because uh, I didn't have time to get a dog box or anything because the vet was closing. I had to throw her in the truck, throw her in the back seat, and she was sneezing, like trying to get that out of her nasal passage so she could breathe. And there was a lot of blood and it was going everywhere. So, But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right girl? The truck, we can clean it up, but we can't replace you that easy. So it is what it is and uh, we'll, we'll take care of her and see that she is back to 100% whatever we gotta do. She's been getting a lot of special attention as you guys can see she's been getting spoiled ever since the uh the uh arctic blast came we're feeding her twice a day feeding her warm food and all that <clears throat> but she still got sick so nothing wrong with spoiling the good dogs right girl so anyways guys i uh, got a new drone today i'm gonna throw up some of that footage i don't have a uh spectacular video for you today i just pretty much wanted to throw this little video together to show you guys that Daisy is up on the mend, I'm, I'm expecting her to be uh, fully recovered by this weekend, I hope. We're praying for that anyways. We know she's not 100%, so we're trying to make sure she's taking it easy, and so far she is. But like I said, I got a new drone today, and here in a second we'll walk up to the house and I'll show you guys. I just flew it for the first time just a few minutes ago. It's really windy today, so I was kind of leery about it, but uh, yeah, it's I'm really excited about it. It took really good video. And uh, we'll go check it out in a minute. So, you got anything to say? Daisy said thank you guys so much. All right, I'll let you go rest and I'll feed you here in a minute, okay? 
How about I just feed you right now? It's dinner time, so I might as well feed them. Then we'll go talk about the drone. Alright guys, so one thing I forgot to mention is yesterday, uh, I had somebody come out to the farm and they actually purchased our Spanish goat, Tiny. If you guys remember, I was talking about we are going to sell her. That was the goat that I want to say accidentally headbutted our daughter Kaya in one of our previous videos. But what she was actually doing is Kaya was holding one of the goat kids and Tiny was always real jealous. So Tiny tried to headbutt that kid, but she actually hit Kaya like right in the side and the arm. And Tiny was one of the goats that figured out how to jump our new feed bunk and our jump gate for Daisy. So every time I'm going in there to feed, uh, they, Tiny was always getting in my way. She was always trying to knock the bucket over, always tripping me all the time. And uh, she was due to, due to have babies. She was bred and she should be having babies within 30 to 45 days from now. But I was just ready to get rid of her. Uh, I've just been frustrated with her just to let you guys know. Uh, she's not going to be eating or anything else. Uh, actually, she's going to a farm up in uh, up towards Missouri. It's actually still in Oklahoma, another town. And uh, a 13-year-old boy was wanting to expand his goat herd. And he's been saving up his money to try to buy into some Spanish goats. So he actually bought uh, Tiny from us. They, come, he, they came yesterday. His dad picked her up for him. And uh, she made that trip yesterday. And I did tell him that I was... Wanting to know what kids she has as far as the gender goes. I said, man, you got to keep my number because right now we have 12 boys and one girl over here on the Spanish Kiko side. And uh, I'm trying to keep tally. I want to see if we only end up with one girl this whole season. So I wanted to know what Tiny ended up with. She was bred to jerk face junior. And I just thought it'd be interesting to know what gender of kids she has. So anyways, I'm going to get some more feed and we'll go feed these pygmy kikos and then talk about this drone a little bit oh my God. Right, guys all the feeding is done daisy has her medication for the day hopefully she takes it easy another night and hopefully tomorrow all that snot and all that nasty stuff from her nose will be gone but we'll keep on checking on her i will keep on updating you guys right now i'm gonna play you guys some drone footage from the new drone and as soon as we're done with that we'll talk about and i'll show you guys around this new drone a little bit it's pretty amazing Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne. Talk a cup of kindness yet for days of old lang syne. And here's a hand, my trusty friend, and just a hand of thine. We'll talk a cup of kindness yet for all.
Okay guys, so what we have here is a DJI Mavic Air 2 and uh, this one is pretty much one of the top of the line, I'm going to say non-commercial drones you can get. This thing is about three or four times bigger than the Spark that I have. I actually have the battery out of it right now and uh, the battery alone seems like it weighs just as much as the other one that I have is but it's got all these sensors on it it's got a light on the bottom of it for you can fly it in kind of dark the gimbal is super nice it shoots 60 frames per second video or 30 so you can kind of get some slow-mo on there um, it has a great range here is the remote that it came with this is cool you put your phone up here and you kind of use your phone as the monitor and then you fly it around but this thing has such a good range that is why I went ahead and went with this brand. So actually, my parents are the one that bought this drone for me for my birthday. I don't know if they were trying to hint around saying that I need to step up my uh, video game or uh, my drone footage or what. But thanks to my mom and dad, I was able to purchase this. So tell them thank you if you talk to them or see them out and about. Uh, it's awesome. And I think we're going to be able to do a little spying on Dutch now. So don't tell him, but he just thinks he can keep trespassers out. We got a little aerial advantage now, so uh, stay tuned for that. Don't tell him I said that either. Let's surprise him. So anyways, guys, I am super excited about this drone footage. I think it's going to open up a lot of stuff for us. Hopefully, I can step up my video creation a little better. I'm not saying you can't do it with the Spark. It's just now I got a new drone, so I got to at least try to make better videos, right? Uh, hopefully it's a little quieter because every time I tried to get good shots with the other one it was really loud and every time the goats was out here I would like man that's a good shot like they'd all just be laying there or all the babies would be playing and I'd try to sneak out here with the drone and that thing's so loud as soon as they heard it in the sky they were gone the chickens are gone I don't think the chickens would stay around for any drone because when they see that thing in the air and hear it they think it's a hawk and they're hitting the uh, trees or the barn to try to get away so anyways guys just a little update hopefully you guys enjoyed that drone footage and the update for daisy if you're not subscribed please subscribe to our channel like this video and we'll see you next time